What's up, y'all? Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to pick up Genesis 15, I think. After these events, the word of Yahuwah came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward is exceedingly great. And Abram said, Master Yahuwah, what would you give me, seeing I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damasek? And Abram said, See, you have given me no seed, and see, one born in my house is my heir. And see, the word of Yahuwah came to him, saying, This one is not your heir, but he who comes from your own body is your heir. And he brought him outside and said, Look now toward the heavens, and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, So are your seed. And he believed in Yahuwah, and he reckoned it to him for righteousness. He said to him, I am Yahuwah who you, who brought you out of Ur Kazdim to give you this land to inherit it. And he said, Master Yahuwah, whereby do I know that I possess it? And he said to him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer and a three-year-old female goat and a three-year-old ram and a turtle dove and a young pigeon. And he took all these to him and cut them in the middle and placed each half opposite the other. But he did not cut the birds. And the birds of prey came down on the carcass, carcasses and Abram drove them away. And it came to be when the sun was going down and a deep sleep fell upon Abram that see a frightening great darkness fell upon him. And he said to Abram, Know for certain that your seed are to be sojourners in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. But the nation whom they serve I am going to judge, and afterward let them come out with great possessions. Now as for you, you are to go to your fathers in peace. You are to be buried at a good old age. Then in the fourth generation they shall return here, for the crookedness of the Amorites is not yet complete. And it came to be, when the sun went down and it was dark, that see, a smoking oven and a burning torch passing between those pieces. On the same day Yahuwah made a covenant with Abram, saying, I have given this land to your seed, from the river of Mitzrayim to the great river, the river Euphrates with the Canaanite, and the Kenizzite, and the Cadmonite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Rephaim, and the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Girgashite, and the Yebusite. Let me, uh, that, that's the end of Genesis 15. Let me reiterate the first one. It's not Canaanite, it's Kenite. Q-E-Y-N-I-T-E -E. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, dang. Especially important for those who misunderstand the 400-year-old prophecy. I suggest they read the book. Seriously.